Next, we're gonna talk about how you know that your baby is getting enough to eat. Now it all starts with getting that best positioning so that you get that best latch. When a baby has a really good latch on your breast, then all of their other reflexes and instincts are able to take over. There's a difference between nutritive feeding, which means a baby is actually eating and swallowing versus non-nutritive feeding, which is a baby just kind of chewing and chomping. When a good feeding is happening, a baby is going back and forth between these two types of sucking. So when your baby is latched on deep and off center with the nipple pointing to the roof of their mouth, then a baby's going to use their tongue in a wave-like motion. You'll first notice they'll do really fast and short suckles. For a while, it takes quite a lot of them before a baby will do a slow, strong pull and then a swallow. So it'll feel like fast and light, slow, strong pull, and then you listen for those swallows. A swallow sounds like a very quiet k sound. Sometimes it's a pop of air. Sometimes it's like a puff. Sometimes it's a little rubbery sound. And sometimes it's like a gulp. You can hear these sounds in a baby from the very first feeding. Colostrum is very thick and dense with nutrition. It's also packed with power with all of the antibodies and antigens to build up your baby's immune system and keep them healthy. So watch for this pattern, feel it, and listen for those, those swallows. So it's a look, listen, and feel to know that it's all going well. So again, you'll feel that sucking pattern fast and light, the slow, strong pull, and then the swallow. Your partner can also watch to see that this is happening by looking at the jaw where you'll be able to see that wave motion happening. You can also see the muscle at their temple move and see their jaw drop and open when they take that deep, slow, strong swallow. When your baby slows down to just the short and light suckles and no longer doing the slow, strong pulls and the swallows, this is the signal that they're nearing the end of their feeding or they're almost done on that side. So you can tickle your baby's back. So let's say they're latched on in this position. You can use your free hand to tickle their jaw or tickle their side or wiggle their arm a little bit. If your baby speeds up in the short light suckles and then does a slow, strong and a swallow, then you just woke them up enough to remind them that they were still eating. If your baby just does the short light sucks and then falls asleep, that's the signal that they're all done. If they fall off naturally, then that's the clear sign that they're done on that side. But if they stay latched on and only doing those short, light, non-nutritive suckles, then you can use your finger to go to the corner of their mouth, break the suction and pull them off just like this. It's not a requirement for babies to eat on both breasts at every feeding. Sometimes your baby will just want one side. Sometimes they'll want one and then the other. Other times they'll go back and forth and back and forth as many times as it takes for them to just relax. So not only are you following their uh, sucking pattern, but you're following their behavior and their feeding cues to know that they're getting plenty to eat. <laughs>